All right, guys, uh, homework help for December 6th. All right, here we go. Um, for these shapes, they all start with a pirate square, a pirate square. They all start with the circle, which is a pirate square. I start with my circle, and I give it some height to make it to make a cylinder. Okay. Uh, for this shape, I give it some height, but then I crush the bottom and divide by three. For this shape, I start with my pirate square and I make it 3D. So not 2D, I make it 3D in that stupid fraction. Okay, so they're all based on pirate squares. Okay, over here, I've got 3.14 times the radius twice, but the radius is five, right? Halfway across is not gonna be 10, it's gonna be five. I can use the top circle or the bottom circle. So five is what I'm gonna multiply by twice and then the height is four. So let me bring up my calculator. Okay, here we go. 3.14 times 5 times 5 times 4 equals 314, is that right? Yeah, that makes sense. 314 units, 3D units. Okay. This one is going to be pi is 3.14. I need to multiply by the radius twice, and the radius is not 20, it's 10. I don't need all the way across, so I'm gonna multiply by 10 twice, and then the height is five, and then I'm gonna divide by three. All right, calculator problem. 3.14 times 10 times 10, times 10 twice, times five equals, divided by three, uh, what is this, 523.33 units 3D units. Okay, let's see the next one. I need four thirds. Where did this go? I need four thirds times 3.14. Nine is the radius, it's halfway. So I need to multiply by nine three times because we made it 3D. All right, four thirds is four divided, oops. Four divided by three equals 1.33 times pi times 3.14 equals times 9 times 9 times 9 equals 3052.08. Why does that not seem right to me? 4 divided by 3 equals times 3.14 times 9 times 9 times 9. Yeah, that's right. Okay. This one, be careful, goes down by 4. This one goes up by two. Negative four divided by positive two is negative, nothing kills the negative, negative two. So my slope is negative two, so y equals negative two x. I gave you the begin on blue number, so you don't even have to do any math, plus 31. I gave you the y intercept. All right, this one, big numbers, let's see. This one goes up 12, from 599 to 611 is only 12. And this one goes up to, forward 2. So 12 divided by 2 equals 6. So y equals 6x's. So this is going to be based on multiplying your x by 6. We're going to take a look at 6x's and see where we're at. 6 of my x's, 6 100's is 600. But I'm shooting for 599. So I guess I have to subtract 1. There's my answer. y equals 6x minus 1. All right, these guys are the super easiest. Check this out. I'm not even going to pay attention to anything that's in there right now. I just want to know how many degrees are in each angle. If this is 40 degrees right here, then this needs to be 140 degrees because right next to it, they add up to a straight line because this is a straight line. So this angle and this angle have to add up to 180. So that means that from there, I know everything else. The one on the other side of the X is the same. So this is 140 and this one's 40. And all the angles up here match all the angles down here because they're parallel lines. So I'm just going to copy all the answers. 40, 40, 140, 140. Okay. Now that I know all the angles, I'm going to erase. I'm going to actually pay attention to the other stuff, right? I didn't even look at them. Okay, let's see. Now, I know a bunch of stuff now is true. 
I'm going to close this for a second. I know a bunch of stuff is true. I know y is 140, okay? I know a is 40, okay? I know, t uh, let's see, do I know any of the ones for sure? Nope. I know b, 8 b's is 40, right? There's 8 b's and that equals 40. So I'm going to over here, I'm going to say 8 b's equal 40. I'm going to divide by 8 and b equals 5. Over here, I know 2x's equals 140. So 2x's equals 140. I'm going to divide by 2. x equals 70. Over here, I know 7c's is 140 degrees. So 7c's equals 140 degrees. Divide by 7. And c equals 20. And just like that. So I didn't pay attention to until I got all the angles I, I wanted to know. All right, here's your A, here's your B, here's your C. We're finding the missing part in this one. So we, we know A squared, we don't know B squared, and we know C squared. So A squared is nine, so nine squared plus the B squared, I don't know yet, equals 15 squared. Equals 225. So 81 plus something plus that b squared is 225. So let's subtract the 81 to fi figure out what the missing part is. Minus 81. And b squared equals 144. That's not the answer. b squared equals 144. To find out what b is at the very end, we take the square root. Not divide by 2. We take the square root. And the answer is 12. And if you want to check this, Remember, 9 times 9 is 81. I'll do it in, like, green. It's 81. And 12 times 12 is 144. And 15 times 15 is 225. So we found the 81. We found the 225. We subtracted them. And we said, oh, whatever this side is, it has to make 144. And the, and the side that makes 144 when you square it is 12. Because these three add up to each other. Okay, this guy I did in class, I believe for most of you, one half of six x is three x, one half of negative four is negative two, plus two x equals negative four times x is negative four x, negative four times negative two, be careful, the whole problem's based on this, negative times negative is positive eight, plus 24. All right, if I have three x's and two x's, really I have five x's on this side. Minus two equals negative four x. If I have eight and 24 on this side, really I have positive 32. I'm gonna add four, I'm gonna make my teams. If you don't know what to do from here, make your teams. Plus four x. Plus four x. Boom, 9x is equal. I'm going to add 2 to this side. Make sure you send things to different sides. So if I, I threw this one this way, this guy's got to go over to the other side. Plus 2 plus 2 equals 34. We divide by 9. And that's pretty ugly, but that is the answer. x equals 34 ninths. Can you tell me that, that as a decimal? Sure, you can leave it as 34 ninths, or you can do 34 divided by 9 is 3.7 is about 3.7. Either one. This is the exactly right answer. This is a close answer. Both are good. All right, you guys have been good at this. That's the ones, the tens. That's the ones, the tens, the hundreds. That's the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands. Ooh, a new one. Okay. Let's see. For this one, what's covered? This is covered, so we just have to subtract one from the ten. And that's one ninth. Okay. Minus one, minus 10, because the one's not covered in the 17 and the 10's not covered in the 100. So this is 16 ninetieths. Uh oh, they're both equal. I mean, they're both even. So I'm going to cut them in half. Eight forty fifths. And that's as far as it goes. All right, let's see. This one. 
Um, these guys are covered. So I'm only going to subtract 1 from the 117 and 10 from the 1,000. So this is 116 over 990. I'm only going to subtract 10. They're both even, so I could cut them in half. Ooh, this is going to be some work. Let's see. If I cut them in half, 116 divided by 2 is 58. 990 divided by 2 is 490 fifths. There we go. So either way, this one would have been fine probably. All right, here we go. On this one, I didn't mean to put this arrow there. I should have put this arrow there. All right, first off, number 17. If I raise my right arm, this is going up to the right. So I know it's going to be positive, and it's positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive 6 fifths. So now I know my equation is y equals positive 6 fifths x, and it starts down here at negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, minus 8. Number 18, let's see, is, oh, that sideways one. This one hits the y-axis right here at 2. So it hits the y-axis at 2. So that's the equation, y equals 2. Oh, it's slope. It's slope. It is not going up like a positive line. It is not going down like a negative line. It's going right in the middle. It's perfectly flat. Between positive and negative is 0. Number 19, this is negative. It's going down. If I put my right arm up, it's going down to the right. Let's see. It starts there. I didn't put the dots, but look, it hits every corner. So this is down 1 over 1, so that's just negative 1. y equals negative x. y equals negative 1x. It starts at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 7. This guy, its slope cannot go up and down. That's undefined. And it hits the x-axis at 1, 2, 3. x equals 3. That's the equation. All right, let's go. 21, almost done. 10x plus 2 equals negative 4x plus 28, or 128. Because if y is the same thing as this, then I can take this y out, and I can plug in this green, oops, this green box for it. So that's what we get. Let's make our teams. T x team, x team. Number team, number team. Let's go ahead and I'm going to add four x's over here. Add four x's over here. But if I send this this way, the other one I've got to send this two, get it out of there and move it over here. 14x equals 126. I'm going to divide by 14. 126 divided by 14 equals... 9. x equals 9. All right, this one's kind of fun. Fun in math talk. None of my numbers are going to kill out, kill each other out. I can't kill, like, 3 and negative 2 don't uh, kill each other off, so I have to multiply them both. I'm going to make this one twice as big so that the x's become 6's. I should probably plug in my thing. And I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 3, so the x's become negative 6's. Everything gets multiplied by... So the top, everything got multiplied by 2. And the bottom, everything got multiplied by 3. Okay. So plug in here, and I am plugged in. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the top 6 versus negative 6 is 0. Negative 8... Versus positive 9, oh sweet, which is just 1y, equals positive 14 versus negative 12 is just positive 2. y equals 2. Okay, great. Which one's my easiest one to work with? I'm going to go 3x minus 4y's is 7. All right, but y's are 2. So 3x's minus 4 2's is 7. 3x's minus Negative 4, or 4 times 2 is negative 8. 3x minus 8 is 7. I'm going to add 8 to this side to move it over. I'm going to continue up here. It's gone. 3x equals 15. 
divide by 3, x equals 5. So we're at 5 comma 2. All right, these guys. Remember, it's only going to be zero answers or, or infinity answers if you have the same amount of x's on both sides. I've got three x's on this side. <coughs> I've got no x's on this side. They're not even there. So this is just a normal problem because we don't have the same amount of x's on both sides. All right, on this side, I have two x's and I have negative two x's. That is not the same. Two and negative two are not the same. This is just one normal answer. On this one, I've got negative three x's and I've got negative three x's. Oh, sweet. If I'm going to do the math and try to solve, these are going to end up canceling each other out. So what am I left with? I've got four equals four. Four always equals four, forever and infinity. All right, this one I have to do a little Starbucks. Two times x is two x. Two times four is plus eight. One half of four x is two x. One half of 10 is plus five. Let's see, we have two x's on this side. We have two x's on that side. They're gonna cancel each other out. So it's gonna be infinity or zero. And now I have this, does eight equal five? No, eight never equals five. There are no solutions. How far are these apart? Let's see, down two over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down two over eight. So I'm trying to find this distance. That's my C. So my A squared plus B squared equals C squared. My A is two, so two squared plus my B is eight. Eight squared equals C squared. Four plus 64 equals C squared. 68 equals C squared. I gotta take the square root now. Let's see, C equals the square root of 68. Let's go ahead and do that in the calculator. 68, and I hit the square root button, is about 8.2. About 8.2. All right. And finally, uh, let's see. This one is going to start at 1, and it's going to go up 3 over 2. So it's going to start at 1, and it's going to go up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2. I'm just going to continue that pattern. You see how, like, I'm not going to draw this line, but the down... Down three over two, 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 down three over two. And there's how my line continues. So these weren't actually part of the line, but it's kind of how I went backwards to make the rest of my line. And at this one, I'm going to start at negative nine, which is negative one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna go down one over one, down one over one. If you don't see a number right there, it's a one, and we can always put a one on the bottom. Down one over one, down one over one is this way. So backwards is this way, and we see now where they hit. They hit right there. That's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. Negative four, negative five. All right, uh, and that was it. I already did 25. Okay, good luck. Try to raise your test score tomorrow. Try to focus on one section that you think you can get. Good luck. See you tomorrow.